please, man. Pretty please with a uh, cherry on top, King. Hey, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how to improve at editing in Fortnite. It feels like every day in Fortnite, a new game-breaking competitive strategy is being developed. And with the average player's mechanical skill level being so high, being able to edit fast at this point is basically a requirement. So, if you're like me and realize you need to improve at editing fast to be able to compete nowadays, hopefully this video will set you on the right track. Just to let you all know, at the start of this video, I'm going to quickly run through some tips and tricks to be able to edit faster, and then I'll move over to a practice map later on um, so I can show some of the strategies in action. If you want to move between different parts of the video for any reason, I'll have timestamps linked in the description below, and I'll also have the practice map and other important links down there as well. Okay, with all of that being said, let's go over how to edit faster in Fortnite. As you guys know, the first thing I always do in these types of videos is touch on the settings you need to know about. In this case with editing, I'll make it short because so long as you have good FPS, the only big thing that is going to hold you back is your ping. Since editing is such a quick process, in order to edit effectively, you are going to need quick feedback from the game client, so ping is very important. Now unfortunately, a lot of ping comes down to how close you are to servers, so if you live in a small town for example, your ping is just going to naturally be higher um, than somebody who lives in a big city, but there are still a few things you can do to ensure you are getting as low of a ping as possible. First, make sure you're queuing into the right region in Fortnite. This is something you might overlook, so make sure that you're queuing into the closest servers to you. On the hardware side, one of the best things that you can do to improve your ping is switching over to an ethernet cable. Going wired instead of wireless almost always increases speed, so if you have ping problems, definitely give this a try. The last small change that might help you lower your ping is moving closer to the router in your house. Once you have done all these things, you should be getting the best ping you can based on your location. So now, let's move on to some in-game tips. When it comes to editing, it might seem really wild and complicated when you watch the pros, but what it really all comes down to is being efficient. So if you want to be fast with your edits, you don't actually need to be wildly shaking your mouse and doing a bunch of flicks um, as fast as you can to try to get edits off. What's most important is that you're actually taking the best editing path based on what, what uh, structure you're trying to edit um, and that you're making sure that you're being efficient. Remember when you're editing that you don't need to go through the center of the piece you're trying to get edit. Um, all you actually need to do is touch a corner of that box or any part of that box. So what you really should be aiming for is trying to hit the corners um, of each piece that you're trying to edit. Doing this tip alone will drastically reduce the amount of time it takes you to edit. And all you really need to do is practice and kind of get the path memorized um, and built into your muscle memory. And once you do that, you'll be set. Going along with this idea of efficiency, you also want to be performing the edit for as little time as possible. So not only does that mean picking the shortest editing path, but it also means confirming your edit as soon as you can after you've gone through all the pieces of the structure you're trying to edit. So what I would recommend is taking some time in a practice lobby and really try to get a feel for where you need to start and stop your edits to be as quick as possible. Another quick tip that still a lot of players don't know about is an editing tip that's specific to ramps. If you didn't know already, to rotate a ramp, you don't actually have to drag all the way from one end of the ramp to the other. You can actually just grab one end piece and move it to a nearby side. This is a much shorter editing distance um, than dragging one end all the way to the other end. And like I said earlier, since editing is all about efficiency, this is a really useful tip um, that's going to shorten that editing path and allow you to edit ramps much faster. Okay, now that I've gone through some quick tips, the next thing you need to do to improve at editing is practice. I know this is sort of a boring answer that you don't want to hear, it's not something quick that you can just implement into your game and boom you'll be better, but the reality is when you break editing down, it's mostly about muscle memory. So if you don't have that muscle memory built up, editing is going to be much harder than it can be. For that reason, I can't stress enough how important editing courses are for improving your editing speed. 
I recognize that I'm far from being the best editor in Fortnite, but just from a little bit of practice on these editing courses, I've improved more than I ever would have by queuing into normal games. So if your goal is really to get better, editing courses are the best way to improve your skills. I'll have my favorites linked below and I'll flash them on the screen here. Um, and a lot of them can actually be really fun. So I highly recommend going and giving them a try. Um, and I guarantee you'll notice the results. All right, that is all for this video. I know these tips were quick with finals and AP testing going on for me right now. I really just wanted to get something out for you guys. Um, but at the end of the day, I do genuinely think that these foundational tips are all you really need to know to develop your editing skills. If you follow this video's tips and are being efficient with your editing, using those shortcuts to edit faster, and most importantly, you're practicing, you can actually improve at editing much quicker than you think. All right. Please do let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to further support me um, with the start of the new season, it's more important now than ever. Um, if you want to help me out, using my creator code is going to have a big impact. Um, so currently, if you're not using creator code, I would really appreciate it if you use my code SpookLuke in the Fortnite shop. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.